everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today it is wednesday the 6th of january although you'll end up seeing this video on thursday the 7th of january because that's when i will be uploading it probably as you can see i'm still on Skate lane just walking past that building there, that is Hangar 4. These buildings say high G flight training on them. I'd love to learn to fly a plane. Not in their jumbo jet pilot sort of sense. I mean, I'd like to have a flying lesson. In fact, I'd like to learn how to fly a helicopter. entirely easy though well not easy that's a completely the wrong word it's entirely possible I suppose to take flying lessons and get your helicopter's pilot license probably beyond something what I could do right now I don't have the time or the money or the resources or anything but it is one of those things on the bucket list to have a helicopter flying lesson and a plane flying lesson. So many things are left to do. Mind you, when I was little, one of the things I always wanted to do was go to Pontins or Butlins on a holiday and absolutely never got to do that because we never really had family holidays when I was little. I did go on a couple of holidays. My nan took me to Benidorm twice when I was small. And we did have one family holiday as a kid. My mum and dad rented a cottage in Somerset for a week because they managed to save up some money because they gave up smoking for a few months. So we were able to go to Somerset. That was nice. So that was the one family holiday we had. But I had friends that had family holidays every single year. Mind you, if I was rich now, holidays wouldn't be something I'd spend my money on. There's many, many things I'd like to do more than take a holiday. Flying a helicopter is one of them. I'd also have expensive watches, as in wrist watches. If I ever won the lottery, which will never happen because I don't do the lottery, I work way too hard for my money to waste it on lottery tickets. But yeah, if I ever had a lottery win, I would buy some really gorgeous, expensive wristwatches because I absolutely love wristwatches. The old fashioned ones that tick and you've got to wind them up every night and they make that cool little ticking sound. at Morrison's now. I'm going to walk towards the gate, see if they have any coffee. And there are other things I want to get from Morrison's, so it's just not a one-off trip just to see if they've got any coffee sachets. So a couple more things I want to get. I need to get some potatoes, but I don't really want to get them from Morrison's because I'll be super happy and I'm on my own, so that means I'll have to carry my own bags. And I hate carrying heavy shopping bags. Well, I'm about to go to Morrison's now, so I'm going to turn the camera off and I will see you folks in a bit. Wish me luck. Okay folks, I've just got out of Morrison's and wow the queues in there were horrendous 
well maybe horrendous is a bit of a strong word but some long queues in there I got in the shortest queue and there were nine people in front of me all with big trolleys but having said that the staff are working so hard and they're so fast that it didn't really take that long first saw all the queues and I was like oh man I'm going to be here for ages literally about 40 minutes or something like that because everybody just seemed to be waiting but the staff to their credit they're like scanning at superhuman speed and they're getting the queues down really fast so it turned out I was probably waiting in the queue for less than 10 minutes which is pretty good going plus the fact something I didn't realise when I actually got in the line that the line I was in was filtering down into actually two checkouts so technically you can half that nine people that were waiting well you can't really half nine people because you'd have to chop one of them in half and that wouldn't be good but you know what I mean yeah so it wasn't that bad And I didn't get my cinnamon bun latte, so the saga continues. I did, however, ask. I asked when they were getting a delivery in, and they said midnight tonight, so it should be on the shelves by tomorrow. But I'm not sure whether I'll want to walk all the way down here tomorrow. I did get some Praline sachets, and I like them almost as much as I like the cinnamon bun one so it wasn't entirely a wasted journey and also I've got some peanut butter and pretzel Hershey's I'm gonna let you peep in my bag got some other stuff as you can see so yeah got some bits of shopping now I just have to have the long walk home this is Amy Johnson way which I'm on now by the way folks just give you a little look down here there's some walking I'm just gonna wait for a space where I can cross the road it's a big old road I think I'll have to walk to the end to cross because there's an island in the middle there the pound line down there, I didn't realise that TK Maxx, I also didn't realise there was a TK Maxx down there my daughter bought my Christmas boots from TK Maxx apparently there's a lot of nice stuff in there but I expect it'll be all closed right now but at some point that will not be today I want to do a full video around here and cycle all the way to the bottom going down some way so I've gone all the way to the end but for now I'm just going to try and get across the road can I get across the road? yes I can if I walk fairly quickly perfect it's called Blackpool Retail Park. I always call it Blackpool Business Park. And you've got Curris, PC World, TK Maxx, Aldi, Dunelm, whatever that is, Argos, Harvest, Poundland, Pets at Home, Halfords, Office Outlet, the Food Warehouse. There's a lot of stuff there. But today I only went to Morrison's. And now I'm going to head on home. It's a long old walk, especially when you go via the prom. And my battery's blinking, so I'll probably have to change that in a bit. So I'm going to end this video as I get to the end of Amy Johnson Way in Squiresgate Lane which 
runs on into St Anne's Road, straight down there, a long old road. So I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like and a comment and please subscribe and I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.